All right, welcome to this pre-ride stretch. First, make sure no one's around you. And then we're gonna start with a nice stretch up. Try and be mindful with your feet to be lifting with all four corners of your feet as you lift and try and stretch your spine up. Then we're gonna fold, bending at our hips to do a nice deep forward fold. Keep your knees bent, let your head and shoulders hang, rock back and forth, release the tension in your low body. And then roll yourself back up. You can stay there for as long as possible, but for the purpose of the video, we're going to go a bit quicker. And then I like to step back into a long, deep lunge. Make sure your knee is above your foot, your front foot, and really think of uh, facing your hips forward. So keep your hips square, your foot that's back, you want it to be actually pushing and facing ahead, not angled. From there, I like to go and angle my foot to kind of a bit of a warrior pose. Then when I'm ready, I'm going to reach my front hand forward and straighten the front leg and reach my hand back. Looking at my hand to make sure I'm rolling open, not falling. Then from there, I just kind of spiral down, windmill my arms down and extend the other hand. Do this for as long as you like. From there, I like to go and do it the other way. So again, now our front foot is facing ahead. Our hips are trying to be really narrow, so pretend we're almost in between two walls. From there, I'm going to reach my front arm as far as I can and then windmill, windmill that arm up and look at it. Definitely breathe into this and exhale, windmill the other way, looking at the hand and feeling that side body stretch is really good for riding. From there, I just kind of go center and do a wide leg forward fold. Really good for riding. Hang there for as long as you like. And then this is a nice dynamic moving stretch where you just kind of bring your one foot in front of you, point your toe up to the sky, and wave your arms through if your dog will allow it. <laughs> and this is a good one. You just do it while you're walking and you're kind of breathing as you do it to get the most benefit. So from there, just keep swatching your, swapping your leg back and forth and wave your hand through your front foot. It's important to keep your back straight. You want to bend at your hips and keep that toe flexed. It's more about the hamstring, not about how low you can go. So just keep that in mind while you wave your hand through, being more mindful on your hamstring and your glutes. Do this for as long as you like. Go for a stroll. <laughs> and uh, enjoy that benefit for riding it's so good when we sit all day and then we go ride it's going to stretch those hamstrings from there we're going to do this lunge variation walk one foot forward and then we're going to pivot our torso to the side that our front leg is at so our left side we're going to look to the left our right foot goes in front we're going to go to the right Definitely make sure to breathe through that and feel the benefit of twisting and all that good stuff and you're ready to go.